Okay, so Kames and Isabella both asked about new hobbies and honestly, not really, other than always being paranoid for some reason. Is that a hobby? I also have these dumb habits where it's like, if I don't do them, I feel like something really bad's gonna happen. Oh my God, I swear this lady just heard me talking to myself. Just kidding, I'm on the phone. Obviously, am I crazy? But yeah, I don't really have any new hobbies. Can you guys still hear me? Mm. Oh, it's so good. I'm so tired, I haven't slept because I accidentally fixed my schedule. <sighs> you know, I do, I did try to like do calligraphy or whatever, but I get bored really quickly and I'm always daydreaming about stupid scenarios that won't come true. Maybe that's my hobby. I like daydream a lot and I, I don't know if this is normal, but like I talk about the scenarios, like I per act them out. Is that weird? tell me please you guys will tell me the truth right i like act out the scenarios for some reason one of these scenarios is always we travel a bunch of people that i feel like would be my friend should be my friend but whatever no i'm just <laughs> And then we go to like this really nice place in Hawaii, right? And then there's a waterfall. And you can jump off the giant cliff at the end and we all go walking up there, right? And nobody knows if you can survive the jump, but it looks like fun. And everyone's too scared and I do it. <laughs> because I have a death wish. No, I'm just kidding. It's just a good way to go, you know? But yeah, you know, Ohana. Ohana means family. No, I'm just kidding has nothing to do with anything but yeah i do that a lot for some reason and sometimes i'll forget that i'm daydreaming and i'll get stuck in it and then my sister will look at me like i'm crazy because i started to say it out loud and by like usually it's not like it doesn't look like i'm acting or anything it just looks like i'm talking to somebody oh my god why did i stop there's nobody around but yeah it just looks like i'm talking to somebody and they're and i'm responding to what they're saying basically i'm crazy no I'm just kidding please tell me somebody out there does that because i do not want to be the only one you know i was talking to my friend oh, what's his name what's his fake name damn it i already forgot george and he said that that's totally normal because it helps with practicing um i'm gonna go practicing interactions with people especially if you're not a social person I'm gonna just move this since my sister will not be driving my car in a while. But, um, so yeah, I guess it will serve its purpose. But yeah, that's my new hobbies. What else did you guys ask? Oh, Isabella asked about, um, what was it? Social anxiety. Dude, social anxiety freaking sucks. I don't know how to deal with it. It has caused me so much trouble in my life. And I never knew that it was a reason. Like, I never knew it was a thing. I just thought I was, like, I was, something was wrong with me. And there is, because, you know, the social anxiety. But it's like, I always, I, I started to think I hated people. And I was just one of those people that don't like people. But it turns out I actually like people. Like, I actually like being around people. But if I'm with a lot of people i just can't like i have it has to be one-on-one -on -one with one person you know if you guys ever watch avatar the last airbender i was obsessed and do you guys remember that one part where like zuko i'm sorry okay do not listen to this if you never watched it because i'm about to ruin it for you um <laughs> no one cares zuko would go take um all the the good the good team on on one-on-one -on -one adventure so they could it, like connect and accept him as a, the good guy basically that's what i need it's not that i'm the bad guy I ever was you know i might look it sometimes like some people say i look like i'm really mean or whatever but in order to connect with people i need we need to have an adventure and it has to be one-on-one -on -one because other people um outshine me in every way because i lack personality so there you go <laughs> I just lost my breath for a second. Oh my gosh. What else? I mean, making friends as adults, I, can, I don't even know. Like, you're asking the worst person, honestly. Like, I think I'm right on that ship with you, with everybody. And
and it's it's hard and you know the thing is like nobody ever talks about this stuff and they can tell you like oh they just join clubs meet people or stuff like that but honestly the best way to meet friends is stop looking just stop looking focus on yourself and maybe like if it meant to be it will happen <gasps> no! did i kill him oh my god dude that freaking scared me i didn't kill him it was a freaking duck Oh my freaking gosh. <sighs> she flew right out. <sighs> oh, I would have died. I would have cried if I killed him. Oh my god. <sighs> the car behind me could have literally hit me because like I refused to hit any animal. Oh, that freaking scared me so bad, guys. Oh my gosh. That was I don't know why I checked my time. Like, what are you doing? <sighs> Shit. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude. Nothing is on my window. Like I didn't I didn't hit him. I'm so surprised I didn't hit him. I could have sworn it felt like I did. I didn't like I thought I didn't brush the brake fast enough. <sighs> oh my god, it was a beautiful dog too. What the heck? The car behind me is like way behind me. It's like this person's crazy. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Did I scare you guys? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. I'm like a yeller when something scary. I either freeze or, or like scream or run, but I couldn't run. I could only break. Oh my gosh, why is there so many creatures out here? Poor babies. Did we take their home? Oh my gosh, that would have ruined my whole freaking year. I'm trying not to make eye contact with the guy right next to me because he's like... A lot of people just say hit the animal like it d shouldn't cost an accident. But we didn't get into an accident. And like I'm like programmed to just stop. Like when something goes wrong, I like I break really hard too. Anyways, sorry. Um, what were we talking about? I'm scared now. What if it's bad luck to talk about like making friends? If I get into an accident, you guys will see it. Well, not the actual accident. Maybe I should have like a camera going this way. I don't know. I look crazy right now. I'm like tired. My eyes are like swollen. I had freaking allergies all day because I didn't take any because they make me tired. But I ended up having to buy some anyway. I had one of my friends. Isn't that crazy? I can say that now. One of my coworker friends. See what I mean? It's like if you don't look for it, it'll happen. And this, this girl, Lou... When she was new, I'm like, oh, I hope she leaves soon. Because she just looks scary. Like, she looked like she, like, if you talk to her, she'd beat you up. But she's, like, so cool. But, yeah, I, um, I think the best way to meet friends is, like, see somebody that you'd get along with. Honestly, coworkers is, like, the easiest way for me. Because it's, like, you have to see them anyway all the time. <sighs> oh, my gosh. I'm still thinking about that duck. I'm so glad I didn't freaking kill it. And you know how you know that I didn't kill it? Is if like I'm not tearing up. <laughs> Cause that's the type of person I am. I like cry over like there's so many people I don't give a shit. I remember I was crying and I told an old coworker about it. Like I just hit a freaking I thought I hit a, a beaver, but I never found its body. Like I thought I I don't remember because I break so hard that like I don't know if I hit it or if I I made it. But the thing is a beaver, I never saw its body. I never found it. So I was sad because I, I didn't know where it was. I thought it was still in my car. And my coworker was laughing, like thinking it was the dumbest thing to be crying over a beaver. But it's like, dude, it's like what if it had a family? What if it was you in another life and it killed you? You know what I mean? Yeah. What was I saying? I totally forgot. Oh yeah, making friends. Honestly, if it's by accident, that's the best way. Making friends by accident. Oh, here, how about this? Coworkers, like, there's always like if you work at a place where like all the people are shitty maybe join like facebook groups that's what i do i join facebook groups you guys even see me probably i don't mean face face group facebook groups i know it's very like old person thing to do because i do it everything that i do i know it's out of style <laughs> i'm just kidding unless you're into it i'm sorry i just roasted you by accident why is this car so slow 
not even on this slow just whatever you're into whatever you want to talk to like let's say if you want friends what would you want to talk to them about whatever that is search up that group on facebook and join it because chance you could find friends on there a lot of people on the groups are looking for friends and i actually met somebody i i don't i don't know how to pronounce his name if i'm completely honest because like i never learned how to read properly <laughs> but he's from a different part of the world and like honestly he's he's helped me a lot with like <sighs> my, my embarrassing low self-esteem like he's helped me a lot i don't know why like i feel bad like honestly he helps me <laughs> other than you you guys are you guys do listen to me i like my freaking therapist what the heck i'm just kidding i'm just i feel like she's bored so but yeah um you can join the facebook groups um a lot of times it's like you have to get really into what you like and then find other people that are into that um i have a few facebook groups that i'm in and what else i i think co-workers is the best way to go because it's like you have to see them anyways and it makes work fun like it's almost like an adventure once you make people your friends why do i look like that i look like my name is todd <sighs> oh my god i like meeting people when like something weird just happened you know what i mean like lou we became friends when she was just like it smells like piss here and i said oh i'm sorry it's me and then we started laughing i like because i just always imagine people saying like how did you guys meet and i get to tell that story or she gets to tell it and it's funny you know but yeah that's what i like to do with george honestly i was like i think i was like not even a month into this job and he just we were working in the same area and he said he was so polite he's like do you mind if we have a conversation and i was just like no <laughs> but it was so strange i'm like i've never been asked for permission to have a conversation so that's kind of interesting to tell somebody you know just think of like what would be the most funniest way to like meet somebody and just do it <laughs> Worst case scenario is they remember you for being a weirdo, but at least you were remembered. Oh my god, I hope they didn't see me um, talking to myself. I'm on the phone. <laughs> guys, please tell them I'm on the phone. Dude, what is up with the birds? Like, you guys are driving, wait, driving. Yeah, they're driving. They're on cars. What the heck is going on? <laughs> um, they're flying way too close to the cars. I don't understand. But yeah, that's that's all i really have i don't know what else to tell you guys because it's like work is basically all we do as adults you know so it's like you might as well find a, a co-worker a partner in crime and like work it's it's so much funner the more friends you have at work the funner it's going to be because it's like if they try to separate you it's like you're friends with mo the most people you know you get along with them or whatever and if you do something dumb they can you guys can both laugh it off it's not that awkwardness today i did something really stupid I mean, a few stupid stuff, but with one of the workers that I'm, like, not friends with, and she called me out in such a rude way. I'm like, damn, you need to calm down. I didn't actually tell her that I just fixed a problem because I'm just like, I'm not trying to make enemies here, dude. I thought we were friends. <laughs> not really. I knew we weren't friends, but I didn't think, oh, there's this coworker who came up to me in the beginning of, like, the meeting and was like, you're alive. And she touched my arm, like did i die like i'm so confused i had to do this so if i do this ever it's because i am i'm paranoid because in my sleep paralysis you can't you can't do that same in dreams i can't do this i don't know why so that's how i can tell that it's real life and i'm not you know dreaming or whatever uh, i haven't slept and I have to edit this video and put it up before I go to sleep. So far, it's worked out. My phone has been keeping up with me. <gasps> There's another animal. Oh my god. She's just laying there. What are you doing, Lee? Oh my gosh. I'm so scared of hitting something, guys. I freaking, I wish I didn't have social anxiety. I swear, if I didn't have social anxiety, guys, I'd, I'd be better off in life it really does take a toll on you like 
having to cater to this bullshit, it's like every everything you have like a weakness, you know, or whatever you want to call it, you have to cater to it. For example, my anxiety was not that bad today. I thought it would be, but it wasn't because I'm so tired. And it's like sometimes I have to be super tired when I'm going to do something that makes me really anxious. It usually involves a small room with a lot of people. I don't know why that really bothers me. Like. I'll have to sit by the exit or keep looking at the exit. So I keep telling myself, you can run out, you can walk out. Like, you'll be fine. Like, it's not, nothing bad's gonna happen. I don't know why I'm really scared of being trapped with a bunch of people. Like, in a small space. Is that, that's why I hate airplanes. Like, it's just, honestly, I don't get it. Like, that makes no sense, you know? Like, I remember telling one of my friends who left, but I told two people that already left. What the heck? Am I cursed? But yeah, I told them and they laughed at me because it's like I'd rather the airplane fall than, you know, be humiliated by all these people. I really hope this um, video isn't deleted because I remember I made a video driving home and when I checked back in it, it was gone. It was bullshit. <sighs> I hated it. But yeah. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what to do about social anxiety. If you have social anxiety, please comment down below what you do to, like, kind of, like, deal with it. Your tips. For me, it's I make sure I'm really tired because anxiety is just a bunch of energy. And if you're low on energy, you're low on anxiety. And, or I like exercise. Like, if it's really bad, um, I'll go to the bathroom and then I'll do a bunch of jumping jacks just to get my, give my heart a reason to beat so fast, you know? And that way I'll be like, oh, okay, we're exercising. We're not actually experiencing a panic. The whole breathing slow thing is bullshit. Okay, that does not work. In fact, I think I accidentally conditioned myself to like freak out when I do that. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I did. <gasps> Horse. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want to feed it. Do you think I'd get like in trouble if I feed the, the horse? If one day I bring carrots or an apple. Oh. Does anybody get diarrhea <laughs> when they get nervous? Because I do that. I get diarrhea, really bad diarrhea. I get, I have, I think because it's like, it's so inconvenient. So my, my, my brain or like, yeah, my brain is like, what is the most inconvenient thing we can make you do? Diarrhea. <laughs> What else? Oh my gosh, when I was in high school, math class made me really nervous because the math teacher was a piece of shit. Um, and I'm not good at math. Are we surprised, you know? So it would make me so nervous that I actually got so nauseous. I felt like I was gonna throw up every morning. I hated it. And I, I, was, I remember telling my brother because we were in the same math class, because um, <laughs> I was lower and he was higher or whatever. And I remember telling him, like, dude, I'm literally going to throw up. Like, that's going to be embarrassing. And he would, like, he told me just to run to the trash can. Like, even if everybody hears and sees, as long as it's in the trash can, like, it's not embarrassing. I'm like, mm, I don't know. But I never actually, like, I never threw up. It was just really strong and painful. Just, like, the sleepiness. But yeah, Lily was mad today. Dude, I did the dumbest shit. I embarrassed myself in front of Lily. Like, oh my gosh. There's so many, like, everything's so weird. I don't know. I don't get it. But Lou is so cool. I thought I saw a bunny, but it was. Can I see a bunny, please? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. What if, like, runs on the street? Oh my god, I cannot. I don't. I do not want to run over a bunny. Or a horse. I don't want to run over anything. Oh, I thought they moved. Uh, okay, I'm home, guys. Sorry, I'm not much help with the whole anxiety thing because it's like I'm dealing with it too. That's why I can't do school, like especially if it's like actual school, you know? Oh my god, just even thinking about it, I hate it, guys. I just school sucks. Like college, even like. It's expensive and it's bullshit. Why do the teachers, a lot of the teachers act like they paid you, honestly. Like, it makes no sense. It's like, did you, you did know that I paid you, right? You're the reason you're like, you have a job. No, I'm just kidding. Am I being mean? I don't know. I just think they're too harsh. I'd have some good teachers, but it's like, my sister has really shitty ones. 
And it bothers me. Oh, I see Sam tomorrow, guys. What, you thought I wasn't going to mention him? Come on. Come on. I'm totally going to mention him. Um, yeah. I cannot. I, uh, I can't kiss him. Okay. Yeah. I know you guys want me to. Some of you told me to just do it and kiss him. And I've always wanted to be the person that, like, goes for the first kiss. Because at least I can say I did it. And I'm not a coward. But I can't do it. Because, like, I remember we were talking in his car and he said like lily kind of ruined the friendship by like telling him that she had a crush on him and i'm like oh shit is this his secret way of telling me that he doesn't want friendships ruined because shit like i'm not gonna say anything then that's why and i told lou about it and she told me yeah just wait on it just wait on him to do something but it's like i don't think he'll ever you know, do anything really. I'm tired. Dude, there was a hair in my coffee and I can't find it, so I'm just drinking it. Literally drink the whole thing. I'm gonna have to poop out a hair. I'm just gonna, as long as I don't feel it in my mouth, I guess it doesn't matter. Unless it, it's like it has shit on it or something, you know? I always have to mention shit. Like, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll see you guys next time. Please let me know what you guys want me to talk about. And I'm sorry, I can't give you a lot about, like, social anxiety and, like, making friends as adults. Because I don't even have the answers, dude. Like, I just, honestly, the second I stop looking, it just happens. Same with, like, crushes and, like, liking people. As soon as you stop thinking about it and you, you're focused on something else, it, like, comes to you. It's so annoying and it's so weird. It's, like... In a weird way, it's almost like you you should think like, ah, oh, I kind of want this. But then just don't dwell on it until it comes along. A lot of times that's how it works. I don't know why. Like, that's so weird. Like, I was thinking too, like, I want friends. And then I got George. And then I was like, I kind of want a, a friend that's a girl. And I thought it'd be Lily, but I got Lou. And she's so cool. Like, the more I talk to her, the more I'm like, damn, we have so much in common. And she just follows along with whatever dumb shit I say. That's crazy. But yeah, I have to go. And I'll talk to you guys next time, okay? If you want me to talk about something specific, please leave it in the community tab, okay? Or in the comments, whatever you want. Bye, guys.